and gentlemen, welcome to Building a Mega Factory, a new series I've started um, using the 0, uh, 0 0.15 um, build of the game to build a mega base. And oh boy, I've been playtesting play um, some stuff, uh, some early game stuff, uh, just to get used to the new stuff. Uh, for this past week um, and oh my god there's so much nice improvements that have been that have happened uh, in the game and so much um, extra stuff has uh, been added to the game uh, uh, not in the least the HD uh, upgrades for some of the uh, belts and some of the items in the game um, this is going to be f very nice um, for my settings, let's start a new game here. I want to make sure that I have I use lots of space. I I, um, I want to make a I make I want to make a big world. So I've chosen to do a real world, or at least the settings of a real world, uh, with two modifications. Uh, for the resource settings, I want to change the resource setting of the starting area to very big just because I don't want to be uh, bothered by uh, enemies for for at least the very first of the game because in my honest opinion they don't really add anything anymore to the game since they don't uh, no longer deliver any resource that I need uh, so they're just more of a hindrance now um, so Keep them at bay for a while, and then when I need to expand into new areas, I'll go kill some biter bases. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to change was the expansion, which in a real real world is disabled. Um, but I want to enable that, because I, I do want to have that um, fe look and feel of building a base, building something that's defended, uh, building something that... Uh, in a hundred hours time or 200 hours time is completely surrounded by uh, biter bases and, and red spots and if I want to go anywhere at that point I have to do a lot of fighting and but it's, so I want to have that uh, enemy expansion enabled um, so those are the only two things I will change uh, let's see let's generate a map and see what we get and here we go what do we have let's take a look uh, this for one thing is fantastic the uh, the fact that you can zoom in on the map and get a realistic picture of what's going on I love that I really do um, okay so what do we have we have lots and lots of oil um, decent sized, half a uh, half a million uh, ore patch. Uh, oh, of course, <laughs> I I completely gloss over the fact that you can now look at the total yield of a of a of an ore patch, which is awesome. Um, so not too bad of an iron start. Some stone there, a little bit of oil there, lots of coal. So that's nice to have in the beginning. Lots of copper. Lots of copper, so no copper worries there. Ooh, is that a glitch or is that meant to be? So if you see one little patch, you can see how the entire patch goes. Well, that's fine. Um, but mainly, I see a lot of open areas, which is, which I really like. I really, really like that. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is annoy myself a little bit and work towards these woods that does mean I'm going to have to cut down a lot of trees or at least some of these trees but hopefully this desert area here is quite large and will give me the opportunity to build a mega base over there um, but we have to start somewhere and um, I mean I don't mind building up or down or left to right that doesn't really affect my my build but having this be um, almost encompass the 
factory that I want to build, the starting factory, um, it almost seems perfect. All right, well, I've got some water there as well to uh, start my electricity. Let's get this show on the road. Um, we always start with an axe, otherwise everything's going to take forever. We need some stone. Of course we need some stone, because that, that gives us the uh, opportunity to build some furnaces, which then lets us build burner drills. Um, let's get some... Oh, there's plenty of stone. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, oh, this, look at this. This, uh, these new, um, these new resource patches, they look fantastic, really. All right, uh, let's see, let's plonk down that one and pop down that, oh, I think that's a little bit off. Pop down that one, get one of these out, and there we go. That is done. I can get that. Now, with the new blueprint system, which is, if you didn't know, up here, um, you can have blueprints between um, games. Now, I've built some, uh, as I said, I've tested some stuff out already. As you can see, I've got a complete setup for a, um, um, a smelting area right there. However... I wanted to ask you guys, because uh, this kind of feels cheaty in a way. Um, you know, just plopping it, this down and... Um, I don't know. It, it, it Somehow it doesn't feel right to have this available um, right off the bat. Um... But I'll leave it up to you, because it does speed up things quite a lot if I can measure out things ahead of time. Um, as you see, I have not built any more, or I've not stored any more um, um, blueprints in here, because I didn't, again, it didn't feel right to me that um, I was working this early with blueprints and just working off of that. Uh, and, of course, I'll leave it up to you if uh, if all of you are saying, well, uh, just go for it because you still have to build it yourself, which is an argument I've heard from other people. Um, you still have to build it yourself. It's just It just makes it easier to plan things out. Uh, then I'm fine with it. You know, I'll, I'll use it and um, uh, we'll go from there. But for now, I'll leave them here and uh, we'll just start building building whenever we uh, uh, wherever we think is correct um, so we have some fuel now I'm going to grab all of that walk over to my iron because I need to get this uh, smelting area going as soon as possible um, simply because uh, I don't want to walk all the time get this stone out of the way I think you have to do that anyway, I think. So, let's get some iron going. Now, how much iron do I need, actually? Um, let's see. I would like to have two drills there. So, that's 18. I've got plenty of stone, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, so, that's 18 iron for those two with the, uh, at the coal. Then, I would like to have two over here and one on copper so that's another th two because I've already got one um, and that should set me up for the first bits uh, where I can then start making um, steam engines and boilers and stuff and get electricity going and get electric mining drills uh, so what did I say? Two and two is fours, eighteen is thirty-six. How much do I have? Thirteen. That's not thirty-six, but I can build two already, which already can start mining um, the coal. Very important, because we're going to need a lot of that. 
There we go. You can feed into each other. Everyone's seen me use this trick before, so this should not be a surprise. This should now feed into that one, and then that one will feed into that one. Perfect. Okay, so I can walk all the way back. We click it. We have another nine. We click another one. We use that. Uh, and I want one of those as well for the uh, copper. So start... Oh. Start making the first bits of copper, please. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Seven, eight, nine. All right, let's grab that. Wait for that to finish. That is finished. All right, cool. Um, I would like to have... Oh, I forgot one tiny detail, of course. Hang on. Can I... No, that's two. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, I need two of these anyway. There we go. So I'll put one in there, one in there, one in there, and one in there. And then we'll, whilst that is burning, we'll collect some uh, coal from these guys. Don't know how full they are, but they should have some. Yeah, almost 50, so that's good. That's very nice. Then we should be able to start... Um, there we go. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. How much do we have? 15. All right, cool. Um... And then we could centralize everything, so that means I need to build electricity. So it's one of these, and then 31 of them, of iron. Uh, I can build two of these, so that's 62. Of course, I also need a pump, which means I need... Oh, I'm going to steal some... Uh, um, um, whatever this is called. Coal, yes. Do we have some? Oh, seven. That's perfect. So I can build one of those. That's awesome. And then all I need... Ooh, almost done for the first one. Because I just need one for to start. And then we can get our electricity going. Do I have some wood? No, because I never cut any wood. Um, oh, I just left some wood there. Well, that's fine. We'll get our... Oh, look at that. There's some wood over there. So we can get plenty of power poles from that. Um, so I, I say we start our first electricity over here. I, I'm guessing we can do it an ugly one right now. Because that does not really matter. So that's for power. And then we need some power poles. Because I still, I believe I still have some um, copper with me. Of course, now I'm going to need an electric mining. The first thing I'm going to need is an electric mining drill and enough iron to get the, um, the coal that the electric mining drill is going to drill to this... So that should be enough wood for a while. But to this um, boiler. Thank you. Um, okay, so I need iron for that. Uh, iron and copper. Well, let's collect almost 75, 76. Well, not almost, exactly 76. Um, coal. We'll go here. We'll go... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Something, 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 something. Ten. And a bunch here is ten. How much do we have? Sixty. Very nice. Thank you very much. All right. So this is empty. So we'll put half and half. Uh, but how much do we have? Forty-one. Brilliant. We need this one. And we need all of these. Definitely all of these. All right. 
and bring some extra iron. Oh, and we need, let's say, 10 power poles. Okay, so there is our first setup for electricity. I'll go as far to this side as I can because um, 8,000. I want to take up as least room as possible. I'm going to change this because this looks stupid. Um, so this will be like that. This will go like that, I suppose. Let's wait and see. One, two, and then that one goes there, yeah? Awesome. Oh, I need a... Should I do a burner arm? No, I shouldn't do a burner arm, should I? Dang it. It means I have to run all over there again. Uh, but if I'm going to do that, I'm, I might as well do that with a power pole. Just to make sure that that gets powered. <clears throat> and then when I come back, I can finish the... Oh, let's not forget to walk past these guys. Grab some of this wood while I'm here anyway. Cool. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, there we go. That should be more than enough to get things started. And then we can get our baseline started for our, um, let's see, for our smelting area. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Oops. There we go. Now, get you in there. Get you in there. Brilliant. Uh, get some of this in there. Production is zero. What is happening? What, what am I doing wrong? I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Wait, let's see. So there's steam coming out there, so that's good. I did connect this, right? Yes, I did. There is fuel in there, yeah? Why is there no... Oh my... <clears throat> so glad nobody saw that. That's not entirely embarrassing at all. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's put that. Whoops. Let's put that one there and you there. And then we can go like this. Of course, now we need to put in fuel again. Something like that. And there we go. Our electricity is going. Now, of course, this electricity should. Oh, okay. Perfect. Only the first few go really fast get it uh, up to the right temperature and then of course it only needs to keep it at that temperature uh, I can get rid of this last one and then when it needs to fill this is perfect all right we have liftoff now where shall we start our baseline factory I want to start right in the middle of this somewhere. Um, and it's very tempting right now to go to the blue uh, blueprint library and uh, use that as a starting value. Um, but I won't. Not unless you tell me it's all right. So how does that look for center? So we can go that way and we can go a little bit that way and then make this our block and then work off of that. I think that's a very, very nice idea. All right. Um, 
that I think is I think that's going to be it. Uh, that means I'm going to have to start with a very nice. Uh, oh well, we'll wait for that. With a very nice design, which is. I mean, I can always change this a little, I guess. Uh, so that's the output. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the input. Um, oh yeah. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, which would be the output again, like that. Awesome. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, oops, six. Is that correct? One, two, three, four, yes, that's correct. All right, how much do I have? How many do I have? One, two, three, five. And then we've got one more, I believe, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe, but I could be wrong, that that is it. Let's see. We got, so we're inputting, yeah, we're inputting there, there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. That's one half. Very, very nice. Now, what I will do, because that is, I've built it now. I will now use this blueprint like so to copy that design right there. So is that a little bit in the middle? I think it is. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So that saves me a lot of counting. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, I need, oh, I need more. I haven't got enough. I have not got enough. I need more of that. And then, of course, I need to refill these. I need to... No, that's still going. So that's good. Uh, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And we want... Ah, a hundred of those. Perfect. I want just a few. Come on, thank you. Oh, I see that it's. Oh, it's. I see that it's time already. Time does really fly. Oh, oh! Didn't I say I was? I wasn't going to say that anymore. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's finish this. Whoops! That's one too many. Okay, that one and that one, and let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Awesome. Very, very nice indeed. Um, of course, I'm going to need to have. I'm going to have to have some power poles here because um, eventually this needs to be electrified. So we'll walk some power poles right up there, and then we'll go. Uh, so that's the output. I'll put it above because that seems the best choice. Uh, where did I place you? Yeah, you seem a little bit off. That's better. All right. Can I build some more? Thank you. I don't need that anymore. Uh, I want that as a steady. And that as a steady. Well, I want you as a steady over there, not there. All right, cool. I'll finish this row, and then we'll do the actual conversion to this side. Oops. In the next episode, I do have one question though, and some of you have seen me test this out. Um, I do have the ability to stream now. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if there's uh, an audience for that. 
Um, I, was, I would stream on a Sunday afternoon, but that's um, my time. Uh, I'm not sure that's entirely um, handy. Please let me know if you would like to see me do that. I would stream for about an hour, I guess. Um, because 20 minutes for a stream is just, it's just way too short. I mean, um, and of course I would make the video of the, uh, stream available, uh, in the same series. So, uh, you can always watch it later, but, uh, yeah, let me, let me know if, if there's interest for that, because I really want to know that's, um, yeah, I'm really interested to see if that is something that you would want to see. Um, that's it for now. We've made our first start on our mega base. Well, at least on the beginnings of a normal base, so we can build a mega base. Um, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you have any suggestions or ideas. My name is Diablo, and I'll see you next time.